Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our plastic bag. So it's been 102 days since I've added this plastic bag to the bin. I'm not updating very frequently because I know it's going to take a while to break down, but it has been, you know, almost a third of a year, and it's I bet it's still in there. So we're going to go. I have not added anything to the bin. I, I think we added food last time. I'll probably add a little bit more this time just to keep everything in the bin. But we're going to see how it's doing and see maybe if it's time to remove it or if it's broken down enough where it can, I can just let it sit in there and maybe just start using it like a normal bin. I'm afraid to add a lot of food because I want to keep the worms near that bag to try to help break it down. So let's take a look at the bin and see how it's doing. All right, so here we go. Here's our bin. It says ground on the top. And I think the last time I was in here, I buried it pretty well. Let's just take a look. Not much moisture on the top here. So the moisture content is probably pretty good. So let's just take a look in here. I think last time I added a ton of watermelon. Oh, bag is still here. Oh, plenty of worms in here. Let's see if we can dig this out a little bit without ripping it too much. This is definitely starting to break down in here. I mean, it's all, it's filled with holes. It's actually ripping apart. I'm having trouble grabbing it actually. Um, material is so it's breaking down. Now there's obviously places that are not, but this is starting to to break down and disappear inside this bin. Uh, you know, I'm not finding like just a ton of little plastic shreds. It's not yet. Let's just see here. There are some plastic pieces around here, but this is starting to break down. But this has been a hundred days, so this is a long time breaking breaking this down. I mean, there's still a big chunk in here. And I don't know how much of this is just folded up the same part of the bag, but every time I touch it, it's ripping apart. So in a hot bag, this probably would break down even faster. Or uh, not bag, sorry. Uh, if, a, if you had a hot compost pile, this would probably break down even faster. But it's, it is breaking down, but not as quickly, and especially as you can tell, like areas where it's clumped together are not breaking down really at all. Like, you know, right here, it still looks like a normal bag. It's not really ripping either in those areas. Well, it actually, yeah, it's not really ripping in those areas either. So, you know, it needs to be kind of spread out. It might be something where maybe you can add this to your bins, but they're going to take a while. So, you know, just like the uh, the sponges that we we had an update on recently, you know, there are pieces of material that will break down in these bins, but they take time. Um, this is one of them. So I, I will say that I'm not going to say this is a successful and that you should throw these in your bins. Because this has been a hundred days. I mean, this is this is a long time for a plastic bag or a piece of material to be in your bin in general. And as you can tell, it's not really it's ripping apart. The, the composition is changing. There is something that's breaking down in here, but I don't know if it's really the worms that are eating it or if it's something else. So I'm just going to zoom in here just a little bit here, as you can see right here. You can see that this is just this is still pretty plasticky. And it's not it's not really breaking down. So I wouldn't, as a home composter, I probably would not throw these in my worm bins. Um, I would probably throw them out in the trash, or I'd try to recycle them by throwing them in a uh, in a hot compost pile. Might work a little better if you have composting in your facility in your area, so you can actually send it to a real composting facility. These will break down in those facilities, so I would recommend that. Um, which is obviously, I think, one of the best things you can do, especially for the compost facilities, is send plastics that are meant to break down, but also any of your food scraps. Really, at that point, you don't have to do this unless you desperately need this compost, in which case I would not throw in these bags at all. If, you're, if your goal for composting is to, uh, to get really good, nutritious compost for your yard like this, these bags might not be the best thing to throw in. I don't know what they're, what kind of chemicals might be in them. I mean, this is from an organic market, so I'm hoping that there's none. And I think that they do compost these. Uh, they actually have a, a bins that they can use to take these back to compost them. But, you know, if you're using this in your house, I would probably, you know, in your garden, not, not at your house, but you know, your potted plants, yes, but in your garden at home, I probably would not throw these plastic bags in. I mean, it is breaking down, but it's not... It's not enough to say that this is really the worms doing it or if it's just a natural process from the, the moisture in here. I mean, granted, this was uh, in a pretty moist environment in my refrigerator for a little bit, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw these in your bin necessarily. It's, not, it's just not 
it's not as dis it's not it hasn't disappeared as much as I would hope for this far along in the process. And while it is ripping apart, you know, I just don't think it's really it's really appropriate for a worm bin. So I'm going to say that don't throw these in your worm bin. It it can break down. Maybe it will over 10 years or something like that. But this is this has been 100 days, and we still have pieces like this that are very very apparent. Um, and this is a very healthy worm bin. I mean, like all the food that I threw in here with it is gone. I mean, it's just completely gone. I'm not finding any food in here at all. So I probably need to feed this bin as well. But yeah, I mean, like there's tons of worms in here. And, you know, I just I just think that this is not something to throw in your worm bin. Um, I'm going to leave this in here. I'm going to keep going on with it. Uh, but I'm going to call this one a failure as far as composting with worms. I would not recommend throwing bags in your worm bin, these plastic biodegradable, biodegradable bags. Um, these need to be hot composted. And if I had a hot composter, maybe I will at some point, I'll try throwing stuff like this in those, in those bins outside that are hot composting with real heat to see if we can get these things to break down. Now, I did hear from somebody else and they said, well, maybe if you throw it in a cup of water in the microwave and nuke it, and hit those high temperatures and maybe this will start breaking down and that could be but that's a lot of work just to break down one of these things when you could be throwing it in a, in a hot composting pile so it might work but not something that I'm going to do especially then you got to wait for the water to cool so you can put it in your bin it's a lot of time and energy just to try to break down one of these bags and maybe if I had a whole if I had a ton of them maybe but I don't I don't tend to get a whole lot of these I only buy like limited quantities from the organic market where I have these bags so if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I recommend, though, still composting sponges, and I also recommend composting, you know, a lot of other things in your house that might not, might take a while to break down, but they will break down, such as corn on the cob and, uh, you know, some more dense materials that you might have in your house. Uh, I also recommend pineapples and lemons and limes and things like that, which are, are not recommended. So... But overall, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of against the plastics here, They're these compostable plastics as far as throwing them in your bin. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and let me know. And uh, thank you very much for watching my videos.